hello hi friends uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about some uh, small uh, you know excel team mapping uh, we'll take one use case and explain you guys <clears throat> and for this i'm taking same existing iflow this rest api um, iflow which we have uh, developed earlier using token i'm taking same so from source i'm receiving idoc okay and idoc messages uh, from source i'm uh, receiving idoc messages uh, like this but i have to uh, set one uh, you know i want to set one uh, a, uh, custom header to display this idoc number at you know uh, monitoring level monitoring level okay i want to dis display the so i'll for example this is another test case see here we can see this correlation id and message id so along with i want to display some you know idoc number uh, uh, in message monitoring level uh, to search uh, the particular message using uh, this uh, particular uh, you know idoc in uh, cpi okay so how to implement it how to achieve it we will uh, see now in this flow so for that purpose what i will do oh, edit it we did i will maintain the custom custom header uh, at uh, uh, you know uh, using uh, this content modifier okay this is content modifier uh, one minute this is content modifier and in this content modifier sorry i will maintain one custom header custom header uh, you know uh, standard name is application id sap application id this is the standard name same name we have to provide here okay so from source xml we are receiving the idoc right for source xml we are receiving the idoc uh, in the field of doc number doc number nothing but idoc number okay so i will uh, take this doc number from using export expression okay export expression we will give export like xml path export nothing but xml path here so we are we are taking the, we are storing the value from source xml okay source xml into one application id okay application id variable okay this application variable id will be displayed here in, at monitoring level okay so for that purpose i am using uh, this uh, as a variable name and this is standard uh, data type we have to provide java dot lang dot strings in string s should be capital letter okay and now what i will do i will save it so once i run this high flow uh, so in uh, like this this idoc number should be populated okay save trace and deploy so let me check it successfully started or not okay this is successfully started okay now i will trigger the message now i trigger the message yes successfully triggered now we will check here whether this populated or not see message id populated application correlation id populated but this application id not populated here why it is not populated okay now we will check here why it is not populated we have to check the steps here in first to content modifier we have maintained the application id right so here we have maintained the, we can see the next step that application id sap application id header level right sap application id see here applic sap application id is came as blank it's oh, why because it should store this application id should store what this value right idoc number this store but it came as blank why okay why it came as blank 
so we have maintained properly or not we'll check sap application id xpath we have taken the doc number element name and we we have maintained properly but it was not came uh, this xml uh, you know if this xml element or value not stored in this uh, uh, variable why okay why because though this see this is the idoc this idoc contains this standard idoc x, x uh, you know xml namespace this contains standard idoc xml namespace due to this xml namespace our cpi unable to find the exact xml path okay exact xml path of this due to this it is stopping here this is stopping here here and it is unable to find the xml path of this doc number okay once we uh, remove this xml uh, namespace then uh, our cpa will identify this uh, xml path and it will store this doc number in this application id then it will be populated monitoring level got it yeah so now how can we achieve that to remove this xml element or xml uh, namespace sorry xml namespace we have standard uh, one uh, you know xslt mapping okay using that xslt mapping we can remove this namespace so that uh, our um, cpi will identify this xml path and it will store this uh, uh, you know doc number uh, i write doc number in the variable and it will be populated here okay here uh, like this so if you see here like this it will populate here also okay see how can we achieve that <coughs> sorry so i already prepared one uh, um, xslt mapping here local name here nothing but namespace using this uh, xslt mapping using this xslt mapping we can remove this what uh, namespace okay uh, this uh, you know XM, uh, this XSLT mapping should be saved with the dot XSL here see dot XSL uh, extension remove namespace you can give this remove namespace right this we can give any name here but for any XSLT mapping we should save with extension dot XSL so using this I am going to remove this okay here come here so before this I am storing here right header this custom header I am creating so before this going to I will maintain one XLD mapping go here mapping list and take here and assign the mapping assign the mapping this locally not stored right I am store taking from our local server or local desktop okay this XLD mapping I have taken let's first test in internally then later we will do the end-to-end -end testing so this is our payload this is our idoc payload with namespace okay with the namespace if you see here with namespace okay our this xslt mapping will remove this namespace and give the output let me simulate it so successfully simulated let's see the output here body see here namespace have been removed right this is our input here we have namespace right our xlt mapping removed namespace and properties also saved or not we will see header property not came okay header property here right let me put here and let me run this simulation Okay, now see uh, 
here namespace removed and see head that property successfully saved with idoc number this is standard at that property okay now we will test one end to end uh, case okay uh, whether it will be displayed here or not okay i will push some idoc there are 46 right now i will send 47 47 Okay, success one minute let me take idoc numbers 47 done right suppose next 48 sorry Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one. So multiple I dropped. I have triggered. Okay, multiple I dropped. I have triggered. Forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. 50 51 so total five docs i have triggered okay suppose let's say our client our client will uh, ask us like this idoc this 48 idoc so we have triggered the idoc whether successfully processed in cpi or not please let us know our user or our client or our customer whoever they will ask sometimes whether this idoc successfully processed or not they will give directly this idoc number only uh, giving this idoc number uh, they will re request us like a uh, cpa guys can you please uh, check this uh, idoc whether successfully processed from cpa or not so how can we easily uh, monitor on how can easily we will identify that uh, particular idoc whether it is successfully processed from cpa or not okay so let's come here and if you see here suppose per day i will see how many times it has been executed today one two three four five six times sometimes it will execute uh, you know uh, number of times so you know 30 40 60 or sometimes every minute or sometimes uh, within a week uh, uh, around 40 to 50 idocs will be executed to see to check every idoc uh, where uh, you know every message whether the idoc is processed or not particular idoc it's very difficult to us so for that purpose we have uh, implemented this scenario like this storing the idoc in header uh, using header parameter okay now if you see here oh still idoc not one minute sorry guys i have not deployed this after checking so that's why this here see here xlt mapping not there here xlt mapping is there in first step here first step xlt mapping not there i forgot to deploy it uh, okay let me deploy it again okay i have deployed it okay i have deployed it now we will see from next side of converts here 51 right from 52 I will trigger again from 52 uh, let me save this side of again from 52 so let me check whether it is successfully saved with idoc number or not yeah idoc number is stored 52 idoc number let me trigger <coughs> one more idoc Fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. So 
uh, I have triggered multiple IDOCs 53. Uh, 54, 55, 56, and 57. How many? 5 IDOCs I have triggered. Have been triggered. 5, five IDOCs we have triggered. So let's say. So there are so many number of IDOCs. But our client or our user, our customer will say like this particular IDOC is not uh, no, whether this is uh, properly processed from CPA completed or not they will ask so in this case we can easily identify or we can, we can easily modify it or we can easily search for that particular IDOC so uh, here see in header level using custom header we have uh, configured it and so that it is uh, populating in message monitoring level okay at properties now suppose what said 55 is let's say some randomly they will give some 53 IDOC they have pushed the IDOC from S4 uh, but they have not uh, you know uh, it was failed in uh, or they, they have not received or fails uh, or uh, some issue was there so that they want to confirm back with CPI team whether this particular IDOC has been processed from CPI or not so in that case uh, they will give some IDOC put IDOC ID here just enter see this IDOC easily we can search for that particular message using this property okay or can give one more IDOC lag here we can easily search for that particular IDOC or message right this is the uh, way to store this uh, custom header application ID okay also XSLT mapping using this XSLT mapping we can remove this XM uh, namespace from uh, okay uh, this IDOC this is the main purpose of XLT mapping also this application ID custom header okay thanks guys uh, thanks for watching my videos please subscribe please support me I will uh, uh, you know um, do more uh, videos like this and upload if you are not surprised so please encourage me subscribing and sharing watching my videos thanks guys thank you thank you very much for watching my videos thank you